Questions? When we watch, watch the video, do you see anything different than what you thought you'd see? No. Um, after watching the film, it kind of was what I thought. I mean, uh, you know, was really pleased that our guys won the football game. And, you know, I think there's something to be said for any game that's tight throughout. And, uh, you got many, many chances to make plays not to win the game. We made enough plays to win the game as a whole. But offensively, uh, you know, not really overall pleased uh, just because it's not to our standard. I think we had five penalties. Uh, you know, we turned the football over at a point when uh, we, the defense had made a big stop. We could put the game away. And then at the same time, um, you know, I think the first quarter you could tell we were real jittery as a whole unit. Just You could just tell. But then after the defense got the turn when we scored, things kind of settled down. And then from that point on, I just felt like every time we had a chance to really put some distance between us and them, whether it be missing a deep ball or having a touchdown called back for a penalty, we could have got up 11, 14. We, we, just, we just sputtered, and we didn't take advantage of those moments. And that's, uh, you know, that's, that's not good enough. So we've got to be in those positions in the future when, when we're in a position to kind of separate ourselves. You know, we got to, we got to press forward and, and get some distance from ourselves. How much did you open up the book? For, Do what? How much did you actually open up the book for Nick and to kind of uh, let him yeah. just play? Yeah, we had plenty. We had a, a good game plan in. Um, now I do think, you know, the first first quarter, first half even, we were kind of you know, just like we're filling some of our guys out just like, you know, they're filling us out. So we were, you know, and you also, you're always kind of monitoring the, the, the flow of the game. What's the score? Where are you at in the game? And so we were probably a little more conservative early. But, uh, you know, I do think, you know, early on we were, I think he was two of eight in the first half. I think we had two third down passes that were dropped. But, uh, you know, missed a few. In the second half, I think we finished like eight of 11 or something better than that. And you could tell. He and our whole offense settled down, and we completed some balls. We, you know, even uh, made a few plays with his feet that he hadn't been making earlier. But uh, as a whole, we had plenty of chances in that third quarter, specifically in the beginning of the fourth quarter, to really, um, you know, make some plays. And, and that's what we got to do. We got to have guys that are making plays uh, in big moments, and uh, that's what we got to improve on this week. Nick, Nick didn't throw a pass for the last 12 plus minutes of the second into the beginning of the third. In real time, that was close to an hour or so between the sideline, I know there was the big run, the kickoff return that time. Mm -hmm. What were you saying to him during all those lulls in the action and then yeah. at halftime when you had that much time between passes? And that's another thing, you bring up a good point, you know, and some of that was very self-inflicted by, you know, a three and out or, you know, sputtering with penalties that we just never really kind of got in a full rhythm. And, uh, and so I didn't know it was that long, but, you know, I was just trying to keep him in the game mentally, um, you know, just keep talking about certain situations, things we were going to come back to, those things. And you just, not only him, but our whole offense, because there were, we had a kickoff return and then we had a long run. I think at one time, you know, we'd only ran like four plays in the second quarter. And we, you know, as a team scored two touchdowns, but we hadn't been on the field that much. So, um, you know. That may have contributed somewhat to us not getting the room. You see the, the overthrow of passes. Uh, what did you notice? Did any of the receivers slow down a bit at times? And some of them obviously were just overthrown, but. Uh, combination. You know, um, we had a double move to Sammy. He stumbled coming out of his break. Um, the one really early in the game, he, just, he was covered. He overthrew it. Probably was a good reason he overthrew it. Uh, and then, you know, him and Ricardo was bang, bang off the fingertips. You, you know, maybe a little bit better throw or a step better here. And we, and that's what I'm talking about is those plays and those moments, you know, we've got to make those plays, period. It doesn't matter who you're playing whether it's to stay in a game, whether it's to put a team away. we got to make those plays. And, um, you know, even having a touchdown on first and goal from the four, we walk in, but we have to call back. We end up having to kick a field goal. Those things will get you beat uh, and could have gotten us beat in that game. Um, but I do want to make sure, uh, overall, what our guys did do is never once did they panic, never once did they get tight when, you know, we would score, then they'd take the lead, then we'd score, they'd take the lead. It was tight all through the second half, even though we had a small lead. You know, our guys were pretty even killed. They didn't act uh, like the moment was too big, and they found a way to win. And at the end of the day, you'd rather win and uh, have some things to correct than to be on the other end of things. Uh, when you evaluate Nick, what are some things you thought he did good, and what are some things you really want him to improve yeah. on in the coming weeks? You know, for the most part, mentally, uh, he didn't have a lot of mental busts. I mean, you know, I felt like he called the right plays, protections, things that we need him to do. Uh, he didn't have a turnover. And, you know, at the end of the day, I tell him, you know, the quarterback's job is simple. It's to win the game, and a lot of that has to do with protecting the football. And, and who cares for how many yards you throw and how flashy it is, did you win the game or not? We did. He was, I thought, very um, – uh, conservative with the football, which is good. And, uh, you know, as you can see, he opened up a little more in the second half, and that's kind of where we got to go as an offense with him and, and everybody is, you know, like I said, open it up, make some plays now.
That play, that play where a guy came free and he kind of dodged him, do you think that kind of clicked him back in? Just yeah. Just, just yeah, there was a couple plays that you could tell um, he just reacted and played and wasn't maybe thinking too much. And that was a big play. I think it was second and seven or eight. You know, we get a sack there or something. We're third and long, pinned deep. Uh, wasn't good. He finds a way to scramble out, convert, and, and we get keep it going. Another one, we sprint him out and they cover it. And he runs all the way back across the field and gets about eight yards. And we end up kicking a field goal because of that. I mean, those are things that he can bring to the table. And I just think, like we said, for him and for our, our team and our offense as a whole, we want to improve each game. And so, you know, we kind of know where we're at right now. And so we, you know, look for big improvement week two. Um, probably the same. You know, I was proud of Sammy. He stepped up, made a big catch when we needed him to. Um, you know, Quan made a few plays here and there. I tell you, a guy who didn't make a catch, but when you turn on that film, I was more proud of anybody's Trevon Reed. I mean, he busted his tail, did all the things you want a guy to do. On Corey Grant's long run, he had stride for stride with him, cutting off the safety. Um, you know, those are the things that we notice as coaches that we point out to them in the film room that, hey, this is the way you play without the ball. This is what winning football is. Um, at the same time, you know, we've got to make that catch on the deep post. We've got to keep our feet on the double move, things like that. Um, so it's a combination. We miss some as quarterbacks. We miss some uh, as wideouts, and that's what we got. Just got to get more consistent and make those plays. Rather than Alex Cozan doing his first game in the overall offensive line. Yeah, Alex, I think Alex did very well. And, you know, Coach Grimes has done such a good job with those guys. You know, Alex is that guy who uh, you can trust and count on. He's real smart. He's real conscientious. I mean, he's, he's uh, you know, he's, he's always, you can tell it's important to him. I thought he graded out well. I thought he played well. Uh, as a whole, the O-line did some really good things. I mean, there was a lot of time we were getting some really good movement up front. Uh, the, probably the most... A uh, concerning thing was I think we had a third and two and a third and one and did not come up with it twice. And there's a lot of reasons for those things, but the bottom line is uh, we've got to convert on third down better. I think we had two that we dropped that we didn't convert. I think we had one or two we overthrew. And we had two third and shorts that we didn't get. And all that's self-inflicted, and that can't happen. Uh, how, how, how many actual players did you recruit through one year at Ark State? And they're still there now. And what what are you helping with, like, the off or the defense, the – Maybe scheme for those players. Yeah, I don't want to name names because I might leave somebody out, but I'd say a handful of guys, a couple on offense, even there's one or two on defense that, uh, you know, we I thought last year brought in a pretty good freshman class to Arkansas State, and uh, there's some good kids over there. And, uh, you know, I know one thing, those guys are winners. I think they've won nine or ten straight now. They're going to come in here with the expectation of winning, and we're going to have to play a really good football game to beat them. Right, knowing kind of that you're going to be playing a team that – Obviously, so many of you guys came from and you installed that offense and everything and how familiar they were going to be with this the second week of the season. Did you guys plan for kind of a dummy si signaling system or a different signaling system these first two weeks to not I mean, basically tell them and dictate to them what you're doing? No, we've had our hands full just trying to coach our guys up. I mean, you know, I think that works both ways. They're going to know us well. We're going to know them well. Um, you know, unfortunately, I have experience doing this. You know, I went to Sanford. You had to come back and play here, go there. You got to play there. I mean, that's just part of the business. And uh, I know there's a lot of guys there that we care about and they care about us. But you know, when we play on Saturday, both both sides are going to want to win pretty bad. And that's just the nature of this deal. So, JD, there last year, he's had a great year. Uh, what are you trying to tell Ellis about him? He's a quite a player. Yeah, JD McKissick. He's he's a playmaker. He's a ball player. I think he had 103 catches last year as a redshirt freshman. And, um, you know, he's a real strong player with the ball in his hands. He's a really good football player, but they got a lot more than just him. I mean, they got a lot of weapons back on offense, and I know they got some really good players back on defense. So, uh, I mean, it's going to take a much better effort from us this week. We're going to have to see that week one to week two improvement if we want to win the game. Just on the running backs real quick, um, you know, you know, not just one guy, not two, but like three guys. How nice is that to keep everybody fresh, having three guys come in and carry the ball? It's good. I mean, like I said, I feel like all three of those guys bring something different to the table. and. And, um, you know, I could see it being a deal where week to week maybe a different guy has the hot hand. But I thought they all three did some really good things running the football. And uh, moving forward, you know, that helps us kind of have a better feel how to use them. But uh, there's no doubt it's a weapon having all three of them that can be on the field and, and make plays. Rhett uh, had 65 plays. Gus has said he, you know, he, he wants to hit the 80 mark and stuff like that. Yeah. How close are y'all, do you think, this, this offense is to be in? Where y'all want it to be, you know, uh, where and where are y'all now in your eyes? Yeah. Well, we're not where we want to be yet. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, but we're we're making strides, and you know, like I said, we won the game. That's the most important thing as a team. We won the game, and I was proud of our guys for that. Yeah, we want to have 80 plus plays a game. But some games it's dictated differently. I mean, when you have a one play 80 yard drive, that's usually a good thing. Um, and like I said in the second quarter, 
uh, we didn't get the snaps. And at the same time, offensively, we got to stay on the field and convert third downs more. Uh, if you don't convert third downs, you're not going to stay on the field and get more plays. And if you don't get those third downs converted, you're not going to be able to get your tempo going. And so all those factors contributed. Um, you know, I look back last year, I think our first game, we didn't have many plays. And the second game, we, we really spiked. So, you know, hopefully we can get that same kind of improvement. Did, did Corey Grant's Corey Grant surprise you at all? Dedicated, didn't get much, many chances last year. I'll be honest with you, no, he's, he's been real steady, you know, you know he could run from spring even until now, I mean, I, I knew he could run, um, and he's a tough kid. Uh, he did make some cuts that were impressive that maybe we didn't know he could do, but, uh, you know, he, he, his speed's definitely a weapon for him, and, and so as you were able to see on, on Saturday, he helps us have, um, you know, a potential one play drive or a guy who can make those explosive plays that flip the field and, and you know, take one drive and, and help you go score because they get chunky yardage. Thanks, guys.